What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Eve. In this video we are reviewing the Scott Barnes Makeup Collection. So as I go through the items I'm going to let you know if I like it, if I think it's worth the money that you spend on it because these items are very expensive. So that's something you want to make sure you're getting top-notch quality on it. So items I'm going to be reviewing. It's going to be the Lip Fetish Liquid Lipstick his eyeshadow collection. I'm going to get it real close so you can see it because I'm not going to even attempt to say that name. I've tried and I keep butchering it. I'm going to be reviewing the blush palette. It's called Chic Cheek. I'm going to be reviewing the highlighter palette. Glowy and showy. And then his bronzer. This one is brand new I believe and it's Bondi Beach. So I'm gonna put these off to the side. I'm gonna jump into the eyeshadow first. I already have my foundation on. I'm wearing the Good Apple Foundation. I like it a lot. It's super hydrating if you have dry skin. So I've already, let me find my brushes. All right, so I've already put setting powder on my skin, so that's really good when you're doing eyeshadow because if you get any fallout, you can brush it away. So the first color I'm going to go into is going to be Slip Dress right over here. That's going to be my all over shade to make sure everything blends perfectly. All right, now we're going to go into Day Rate. I like these little teal green colors, so. That's really pretty. You do have to build these up. They're not straight payoff right to begin with on at least this one. And that's good for because if you have too much pigment all at once, sometimes it makes it more difficult to blend out. So I like to build my shadows up. All right, now I'm gonna do the other eye. I'm not doing two different eyes. I have to leave the house today and I don't wanna look crazy. accident there so I'm just gonna clean that up wipe that shadow away if you mess up just have a little cloth to wipe accidents happen All right. 
and I am using my favorite brushes, Scott Barnes brushes. Now I'm going to go in with Backstage over here. Backstage does have some kick up to it. But I'm not seeing any fallout, which is good. So far, I'm really impressed. All right. Try to clean up my palette from the kick up. All right, so let me go into, where is it? After party right over here. I'm just winning today. Got some on my damn nose. Right, that's... I'm going to use my finger because I'm not getting the application I want from that. Okay, yeah. With After Party, it looks a lot better when you add it with your finger. So blend that in. Oh my gosh, is that pretty. Now what I'm going to do is take all the eyeshadow off my blender brush and I'm just going to clean up the eyes and blend it. Alrighty then. Alright, inner corner. I'm gonna do, hopefully that's not gonna be too bright. Talk to my agent. And I'm not sure if I showed that to you, but there we go. Try a different brush. It's pretty probably I'm gonna dip in when I'm doing my highlight for my cheeks I will probably add some highlight just to brighten that up <sighs> all right I'm just trying to use all the colors I can so you can take a look at them so the next one I'm gonna do for the lower lash line is gonna be globe trotter right over here
These blend really, really nice. They blend nice. They have good undertones to them. There's more depth to the shadow. So when you're adding them on your eyes, you're seeing a little something extra. So it doesn't show it on the pan as much, but as soon as you put it on the eyes, you are blown away. Oh, that is so pretty. All right, so I'm gonna add glitter glue and then I'm gonna add one more color to the eye. So you can see so far, I've not been disappointed in any of his eyeshadows, which is good because like I said, they're a pretty penny. want to do it in the middle or you know what I'm gonna do it right in the middle do like a halo eye Pop the excess Make sure this is clean What a good invention this is, I swear to goodness. Can you remember when we didn't have this and how annoying it was to get color off of each brush so you wouldn't ruin your eye? Trying to remember the time before that. Such an easy design, simple material, and it really helps. Ooh, so I didn't tell you this is on the list. I can get this right. Try not to show you my what's behind the camera with the mirror showing. Oh, that is so pretty. I just can't stop looking at my eyes. This is just gorgeous. I'll let you look at it. I think this is my favorite eye look I've done in a long time. This is just so pretty. So a thousand percent do I think this is worth it. This is amazing. The colors are gorgeous. I'm gonna get close to you so you can see all the shades. And there's cute little messages on each mirror. And this one says category is gorgeous. So that is adorable. All right. Now the next thing we're going to do is I'm gonna go for bronzer. This is Bondi Beach. This is his new bronzer out. Got my it Cosmetics one because his his brush in this I use it for cream Brush the excess off and blend. Trying to look at the color.
it's a little warm for me. But like I said, I'm extremely pale. So I like it, but you have to make sure to go in with a light hand with that. But I don't use very much powder. When I go on there, I just add a little bit to it because I like to do a cream bronzer. So I look forward to seeing if he comes out with a cream bronzer. All right, forgot to brush off any fallout just in case. All right, now let's go into blush. So pretty. Now I like palettes for blush and highlighter because I like to mix. I don't like just to use one color. And the message on this mirror is, my colors are blush and bashful. So I'll go and fold this over, get this off. Hopefully you can see that. So I'm gonna go in for Mimlist right over here. Looks a little peachy and then Strike a Rose. And I'm gonna use his blush brush over here. It's for any powder that is extremely pigmented. These look extremely pigmented, so I'm gonna go in for this. So mix these two. Don't wanna look like a clown today. So I can always change. That is really pretty. Yeah, these are extremely pigmented, so make sure you get a brush that doesn't pile it on too much. Now, I think this is a blush topper. I'm gonna go and try it. It's the top one. It says glowy and showy too, so I'm not sure if this is a highlight or just a blush topper, so I'm just gonna add it to my blush to give it something extra. Yeah, that is really pretty. Forgot to add some to my nose. So I'm mixing those blushes over here again. All right. So I'm gonna get close so you can make sure to see this again. Really pretty. I would recommend this. The formula is great. This is gonna last you a long time because I barely dip my brush into that. And if you can see, that's extremely pigmented. And this brush puts it on very lightly too. All right, highlighter palette, glowy and showy. And the message on this mirror is look lit from within and it has his name. So pretty. And I think I'm going to do Candlelight and right below it, Twilight Sand. Oh, that is so pretty. Shut up. Oh my goodness. I like when he did Tati's makeup. When he did it, he said glowy, showy, and hoey, and that just made me laugh so hard. It 
If you haven't seen him do Tati's makeup, it is hilarious. I watch it over and over again because it will make you laugh. And even my husband, I will catch him watching it because he says that he is so interesting and he will have him rolling where he's crying. He's laughing so hard. Now I'm adding more than I usually do because this is so freaking pretty. All right, so in the inner corner, I'm gonna try out the pink crush because I like how light that is. I think that will really lighten up my look. Yeah, that's perfect. Because it was a little dark before. So putting it on top of that color, it lightened it and it gave it more dimension. So it still has that green shade, but then it has that little pink iridescent to it. So let me just blend that real quick. Dude, I'm freaking so stoked on this. I did not think I was gonna like it this much. So when I saw how much each thing cost, I'm like, this better be good. And then reading some of the reviews, some of them were harsh. I'm like, really? Are you serious? It can't be that. Some of them said, oh, dollar store makeup is better. And people were just mean. And as you can see by my review, I do not agree with that at all. So for underneath the brow bone, I'm gonna go in with a different color. It's going to be Plain White Tea. It's a cute name. Blend that out. All right. I have to make sure to set everything. Got my brush. I'm gonna grab the Scott ba Barnes powder brush. And this is just to set everything and make everything look smooth and blended. All right, I'm gonna be right back to review the lipstick. I'm gonna get eyeliner on and my mascara. Be right back. All right, so I'm back. I added mascara and my liner. For liner, I used the Makeup by Mario liner. I like it a lot. And then I did my favorite combo of the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes along with the Thrive Liquid Extensions. All right, so put that off to the side. Before I jump on the lipstick, I know I said that the bronzer wasn't a good color on me. I think I used a little too much, so make sure you go very light-handed on it, because when I put the setting powder on and I mixed it in, it blended out beautifully. So I changed my opinion on that. So I will probably get a lighter brush to add that on so I don't go in very heavy, because I barely touched it and it was still too much. All right, so for the liquid lipstick, this is called Lip Fetish, and this color is called Heartbreaker. So I'm gonna get my lip balm off. What is that smell? It's like cake batter.
It's really nice. Really silky, really light. I like that a lot. The shade is so pretty. All right, now that I have my lipstick on, we're gonna talk about the products. We're gonna go into a little more about them. So when I was on the site, I was hoping that these would not be worth it because for cosmetics, these are very pricey. I understand that. But using them, putting them on, there's something special about them. So if you wanna treat yourself and give something really special for you, buy these products. You will not be disappointed. Looking at the site, looking at the pants, I didn't see anything on there. I have palettes with these shades. So I went over, I was like, why is he charging so much for this? But then you put it on your eyes and they are absolutely gorgeous. There's something behind it. How he blended these eyeshadows, you can see he put a lot of love into them. And I think I know why. He was an artist before he says that. Before he started doing makeup, he did paintings, so he knows his colors. That's why his brushes are so good. They're hand cut. He knows what he's doing. That goes for his colors and his cosmetics, too. There's something behind it. How he blended it, it's perfect. I can't rave about it anymore. I'm so stoked about this. This is not even funny. It's freaking gorgeous. With his bronzer. I added too much, so that was my fault. So when I blend it out with a setting powder, it looks absolutely amazing. And if you see how big this pan is, it is big as my freaking head. This is gonna last a long time, 100% worth it. I'm gonna rebuy every single product that I got. That's how happy I am. Same with thing with his blushes. They are so pretty. The little extra touch where he puts a note on the mirror, I think that's amazing. They do have blush singles. If you don't want to go and spend money on the entire palette, you can do that. I think the palette is more worth it. You can do your own custom look for your makeup. So your makeup is going to look different each time. You can make it how you want to look. You can make it as intense. You can make it light. You can change the colors just ever so slightly so your look is always different. It matches the shade of your eyeshadow. It is so pretty. You need the littlest amount, so this is going to last you a really long time. Anything breaks or something happens to it, tomorrow I would be on the site and ordering more. That's how fabulous his stuff is. And that says a lot because I don't like spending that much money on makeup. I like spending it on skincare because I think that really shows. But his stuff, ugh, are you fucking kidding me? 100% would I be on the site tomorrow and ordering it. His highlighters absolutely amazing i think he does have right now one of his highlights in a single but look at these you can custom it you can make it to whatever shade that you desire in your heart they are wet on the skin they are not glittery they blend in perfectly so you can put it very light you can put it more intense if you want to see it from space you can do that with these they are so pretty you can use it as an inner corner you can add it as a halo to your eye in the middle of your eyeshadow this is so versatile. I love this so much. As you can see, I am so happy. His lipstick, I like it a lot. It went on really smooth. I like a liquid lipstick because it stays and it doesn't feel so drying. Of course, I will touch base if I think it's drying on a later video or in the updates of my description section. But as you can see, I'm so happy with this. <sighs> Scott, why do you have to make such amazing products? It's like, give, I'm just handing him all, all my money because it's so wonderful. I can't even put it into words because I'm just so amazed by it. I was putting it on my eye and I wanted to go damn on everything because it was so pretty. I love it so much. And I think anything that you want to treat yourself and get, you will not be disappointed in this. You can really tell his formula. He puts so much love into it and it like I said, it shows. The extra touches blow me away as well. The little messages on here. So sweet. His packaging. So pretty. You feel the love. Where is the bag? When you open the box up and you see this gorgeous bag. This all takes money to do. So with him doing that, you can see where the money comes in because I'm sure formulating these shadows, 
that had to take some coin to do that. This packaging had to take some coin to do the mirrors with the messages that I say that touches my heart when I read it because it just shows him putting more of his personality into the products, which says a lot. He's a funny guy. If you follow him, he will have you rolling because he's so funny. All right. So we're finally at the end of the video. A round of applause if you stayed around. We're going to go grab Sugar Bear and say goodbye to you. Come here, Sugar Bear. Oh, you are already ready. You can't wait. Yes, I know. She gets a little angry sometimes when I pick her up because she wants to jump on. She thinks she's a big dog, so she thinks she can just hop on my lap, but she's a little old and she can't do that. All right. So guys, I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Please like, subscribe, comment down below, and hit that bell so you'll be notified next time I post. Bye guys.